guys, what is up? It is TreeBurgs001 here, and I just took a 10 second bite out of this video. And today, I'm going to be showing you some Titanfall beta gameplay, and I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on it. Uh, so, let's say, let's first start off by saying I haven't made a video in a week. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Been busy uh, with school and whatnot. Can't really, don't really have much time to make videos, but I do, I do try my best when I do have the time. Uh... And in other words, for other videos, Season 4 Guide is probably coming out relatively soon, in the coming weeks, maybe a month. Uh, I also have a Caitlyn Guide that's going to be coming out uh, for League of Legends. Uh, but let's let's move on to Titanfall. As you can see, this is some um, gameplay in one of my early levels where I pretty much murder some people. And right here, you're going to see me mix up the controls really bad like I try meleeing this guy I just end up crouching for like a year trying to execute him and there I finally get the execute um which is very nice but I think this yeah and then I die there uh my first impressions of it I I think it's really fun right here I'm using a retarded weapon called the smart pistol which pretty much locks on to stuff and aims completely at it a lot of people would say this is easy mode. Um, I think it's a gameplay like style choice. Um, I find that using the smart pistol, it's a lot better to go to those yellow dots on your mini map and one shot everything instead of going to the red dots. The yellow dots are really easy AI guys that you could just walk up to and one shot them in the face in a couple of seconds. Well, the red ones are the pilots who will kill you with because they have an assault rifle and you have a smart pistol so you're pretty much going to get wrecked if you try to face them and in uh, attrition mode where pretty much um you have to gather points by killing these things and stuff i think it's best just to like farm um the yellow dots or uh, the grunts as people call them until you get to your titan and then you can start do uh killing other titans and then killing pilots and stuff like that uh, that's pretty much how I played this game. I was pretty much just like going for those yellow dots. Um, but so far, I think the game's great. I had a great time with it. Uh, I enjoyed it very much, very, very much. Um, I am not level 14 yet, which is the max, uh, excuse me, the max level in the beta. But I am working my way towards there. And this is, by the way, on Xbox One. This is Xbox One gameplay. I signed up for the Xbox One and PC beta, and I only got the Xbox One edition of the, or Xbox One um, code. So that's why I'm playing on Xbox One. I'm probably not going to get the game for Xbox One. Uh, I don't know. I really think it's going to be better to um, just get it for PC. And look at that nade shot right there. That was beautiful. Uh, with a smart pistol, you could throw a nade and then shoot it instantly, and it will pretty much blow up the nade, of course. And it's a pretty cool mechanic, and I seem to enjoy it a lot. Um, but yeah, overall, the game's really fast-paced. And this was a close-ass game, too. Like, this game, I think the only difference was two points. Like, two grunt kills could have made the difference in winning and losing this game. Um, the controls feel smooth. The wall running is great. The wall running is actually really fantastic. Um... And being able to jump from wall to wall. Titan gameplay is pretty fun. Uh, I find it's really hard to aim, at least on Xbox. Probably a lot easier on PC uh, to aim at like guys on the ground and stuff. Uh, but maybe there's probably just less auto aim. On PC, that's obviously not going to be a problem. Because PC Master Race, am I right? But yeah, it's really fast paced. And uh, a lot of people have different opinions on the AI. Uh, you know, AI, ugh, it's too easy, adds no skill. Uh, well, some people are like, the AI is awesome. It makes you feel like a badass just running through, just destroying freaking everybody. Uh, and I think I'm on the side of making it feel like a, making yourself feel like a badass because you feel like a badass when you rush to the middle in a game with a smart pistol, lock on to four people, take one shot, and take out four people right away. Uh, and, you know, they may not be real people, and you may encounter a real person that actually has a real gun, and you'll get raped. But being able to just mass kill those grunts, get into titans, and then just, like, fly around in titans, just mowing down people and mowing down other titans, then getting 
into a critical condition where you have to eject and then eject near a titan and then nuclear eject blowing up everywhere around where your titan was it's a fantastic feeling and see right here's a nuclear launch boom everything explodes and anyone in that blast is completely toast right here i try to embark on a titan it didn't really work i actually don't know even how to do that yet i think you have to like press X when you're above them or something. I think he might have moved out of my way though. Because what you could do is you could get onto a Titan, rip open their thingy-mabobber, and yeah, great description, right? And then just start hammering at them with your pistol and pretty much deal insane amounts of damage with, uh, with the pistol. So the Titan either needs to have a teammate shoot it off or... Right there, I kill a pilot with the smart pistol. It takes forever to lock on. Um... You could either have a teammate shoot him off, or use uh, something called the electric field, which pretty much just kills them. Um, but in s you have to give up some other cool stuff, like the force field that takes all the bullets and uh, shoots them back at the other titan. Stuff like that. It it's, a it's a pretty fair trade-off, I find. But overall, it's some fast-paced action. The epilogue's pretty fun, trying to get to the ship and stuff, or stop them from getting to the ship. Uh, the gunplay feels similar to Call of Duty, but um, it's definitely a breath of fresh air with the wall running, the mobility, and the titans. It all feels um, really cool and to a kind of really just good experience, I find. Really fun just mowing down people with titans and stuff. Uh, the only map in the beta that I've played is this map. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's the only map if it's the only one I've played. Uh, and, you know, it's a cool map. But I can't wait till the game's released, and then there are actually lots of maps, lots of variety, lots of titans, and I think um, it could actually have uh, quite a bit of depth to it, and that's, I'm really happy um, that that's gonna hopefully happen, you know, it, it, it's a fun game, it's, it's really fun so far, and yeah, that's about all, but I'm thinking that PC, right there, that guy nuclear reject, better haul ass out of there. Uh, I'm probably going to get for PC, uh, mainly for graphics, uh, and mainly for graphics, mainly for community, mainly because PC is just so much superior. Uh, my Xbox One is mainly a next, uh, Netflix machine now. The only reason I'm going to probably be using it for gaming in the future is simply because of Halo. Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo in general, that's going to be on the Xbox One. But... Hopefully, maybe they'll put it on PC. I don't know. It'd be so nice if they put it on PC, even though I know they won't. So right here, I nuclear reject. I'm pretty sure I get some kills. I get a hit marker, so that's... Yeah, I killed a grunt. Um, but that nuclear ejection stuff's pretty insane. I love it. So right here, we get defeated. And as you can see, there's an epilogue that you need to get the hell out, essentially. And it's very cool. Very cool. I love how you could scaffold just to like every single part of the map, you know, buildings, rooftops, everything. It's the freedom is something that you like the freedom of movement of the map is something you never get from Call of Duty and it's pretty fantastic and yeah, you know, Call of Duty is probably done. I'm I'm saying this like it, it Call of Duty is most likely done. And I accidentally fall off there. Like, Ghosts was its breaking boy. Uh, like, Black Ops 2, it kind of broke. But after Black Ops 2, it went completely downhill. Like, Black Ops 2 was pretty mediocre for Call of Duty. And then, you know, Ghosts came out. And then we f finally found out the living, like, terribleness of Call of Duty. But anyways, hopefully this is a COD killer. Hopefully COD's done. This is a great game. Really fun, had a great blast with it, definitely a lot of action, and I'll see you guys later.